Man, day, day two <laughs> broadcasting from the studio. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Man, yesterday, yesterday was I, I, will, um, I will tell you this before you go any further, Marcus. Anybody that needs to get on the Zoom app, they have our Discord. Go on the Discord. You can find the Zoom link in the Discord. It's already posted, so you ain't got to sit there and look for it. It's already posted, so all you got to do is click on it, come right in. There it is. My boy. Hey, thank you for posting the uh, content yesterday. Hey, yesterday, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Hey, by the way, I got to show y'all. I got to show y'all. Um, thank you, Yaku. Thank you, Yaku. It's coming. It's coming. The book is coming. Um, so cool. The book is coming. It's coming. The Bible is better than Netflix. Um, it's definitely coming. All right. If you missed yesterday, uh, I'm going to give you a quick recap of yesterday because yesterday was crazy powerful. But I want to start with uh, the prayer for the YouTube land that don't get a lot of prayer. We'll do it like that. <laughs> like I said, that's our shirt. Father God, thank you so much for allowing us to do this each and every day, God. We just uh, thank you for the energy and the effort to um, hear your word and um, serve your kingdom as we step outside the four walls and head to school, to work, or to our prospective places, God. Uh, we ask that this Zoom is powerful again today. We ask that the content is shared, um, the conversation is flowing, and uh, we get something out of it. Even if it's just entertainment, God, we love to uh, speak your name. We say these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, I, 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 uh, how I want to do this? How I want to do this? Um, I don't like that camera in the back. I don't like neither one of these cameras. Today. It's all good. It's all good. Yesterday, yesterday we talked about, um, uh, my girl Shelby here. What up, sis? All right. Um, uh, yesterday we talked about focusing on the solutions. What up, Jessica? Right. We talked about focusing on the solutions. Right. And I, and I, I, um, I started yesterday. I'm going to just recap yesterday real quick. Oftentimes we focus on correcting our problems. Right. Today is about three things we could do to fix our problems. But in real life, we, we try to correct our mistakes. If we, if we are getting wise, right. We always try to correct our, our mistakes. We want to get better every day. Uh, we want to be wiser every day. If we made a mistake yesterday, we want to try it again, but we don't want to um, make the same mistakes twice, right? So I wrote this down for everybody who's made a mistake in life, right? Right. From now on, let's start working on um, our adjustments. But when we work on our adjustments, know this, God is here to solve our problems. God is present. His Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is present. Um to solve our problem. Somebody said, I need that shirt. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Andrea Davis, what up, girl? How you doing? All right, so God is here to solve our problems. This is a recap from yesterday. I talked about the song uh, Yolanda Adams has, The Battle Is Not Yours, It's The Lord's. I used to produce the Yolanda Adams Morning Show, and uh, we used to always play that song, and she would sing it live. <laughs> Everybody need that shirt. Uh-oh. Everybody need that shirt. All right. But God is here to fight our battles. This is the recap from yesterday. We went to the, we was in the book of Psalms yesterday. Psalms 55, 22. Adrian, Inez, I need you. Drop that joint on there. All right. Psalms uh, 55, 22. The Bible says this. The Bible says this. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. This Bible, that's not even me. That's Bible. We got deep with it yesterday. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shamed, right? If we're going to believe what the Bible says, it's still recap from yesterday, right? It says, cast your cares. If you cast the rod, that means throw your problems, throw your cares. He says, cast them on me, right? Give me your, give me your lightweight. I got your back, right? Bless me's Bible version, right? And we talked about what cast, casting actually means. I, I used the parable since the Bible is better than Netflix, right? I talked about uh, Hannah in the Bible. I'm going to try to paraphrase it. Hannah, I'm going to say this first. Uh, we have a lot of man-made problems, right? By sure, yes, yes. We talked about it yesterday. If you got some man-made problems, yes, yes. Um, but sometimes, what up, Clayton? Um, but sometimes we have some God problems, right? And I actually said, man, sometimes God um, orchestrates some of the issues that we have to go through to make us stronger, wiser, and for the most part, the relationship with God, right? 
right? And I talked about, you know, some of the differences between man-made problems and God problems, right? Man-made problems, and I, I use the example, some of us, we'll get in over our head and we'll buy an $80,000 car, you know, and, and we only make 30000 a year, right? That's a man-made problem, right? We we get in some relationships that's that's man-made, right? But then, you know, they got some God-made problems. And I used, I used uh, Hannah in the Bible uh, in 1 Samuel 1, 6 through 28. And I'm just paraphrasing because we still on yesterday. But it tells the story about Hannah. She was unable to have children because the Lord made her so. God problems, right? Think about, think about, might be somebody on here. Isaiah, Yakub, Phil, y'all might know somebody. Right, Perry, what's happening? Y'all may know somebody who cannot have a child. That's a God problem. God, God made that. It said because the Lord made her so. Right, and then she went on later to out of her frustration. She says uh, in First Samuel one through eleven, Hannah prays to the Lord, asking for a male child and vowing to dedicate him to the Lord. All right, so you think about it. The fact that she couldn't have a child made her relationship with God even stronger. So sometimes God might orchestrate some stuff in your life to make you stronger, make you wiser, and ultimately make you call on him and grow the relationship. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. This is a recap from yesterday, right? Um, and so I, I started talking about, I said, actually, I said this. I said, uh, newsflash, newsflash, if you have flesh, you're going to have some problems, right? And I talked about it. I said, man, there's tons and tons of people that go to God in the Bible, in the Bible, tons and tons of stories of people going to God about their problems and their issues, right? And then I said this, Jesus was the only one that didn't do nothing to nobody, right? And they hung him on the cross. So believe you me, what makes us different, right? If they hung Jesus on the cross, you're going to have some problems too, right? So, so, Look at it like this. Cast your care. Thank you, Inez, for dropping it on there. Right? He wants to fight um, our battles. And I even said this, man. Even in the Bible, some of the people were strong. Some of them were smart. Some of them was beautiful. Some of them was rich and still couldn't solve their own problems themselves. Right? And so you think about it as we walking around today. You might know somebody who is gorgeous. You might know somebody who's rich. You might know somebody who's, who's wise or strong. They cannot solve their own problems without God, right? So cast your, what did it say in Inez's version? Uh, cast thy burden upon the Lord. I don't do the die and the D, but yeah, cast your cares. Cast your problems, right? Um, I put this down. Uh, this is still yesterday. The scripture is basically saying he's he wants to help you and he can help you, right? Cast your burdens on me. I got your back. I shall sustain you. I got your back, right? Right? And then we talked about it, right? Uh, what up, Latrice? Uh, we talked about it. How many people, by show of yes, yes, how many people know somebody that can physically help you through your situation? You ever been behind on rent or a car note or or need, you know, need a ride or something? And you know some, you know a person in the flesh that can physically um solve your problem but they just ain't there or they too busy or they ain't they say they ain't got it and you know they do right god not like that right and i said it on the flip side of that how many people know somebody who want to help but can't right right sure yes yes right anybody know somebody like that right and so god is saying yo give me your problems i want to fight your battles that was that was yesterday so if you missed it it's up on um it's up on social let me get to today because I don't want to kill out of time. Uh, so I am I said this again. Let's go 55, 22 Psalms. Cast your cares on the Lord. He will sustain you, right? Do me a favor. Drop Psalms 50, 15. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. 50, 15. I think that's what it is, right? God's so cold, y'all. God says this. And call on me in the day of trouble. Yikes, right? God said, all right, so 5522, Psalms 5522 said, cast your cares on the Lord. He will sustain you. Yes, yes, right? He will never let the righteous be ashamed. Psalms 50, 15 says, and then, yo, call me in the day of trouble. Drop that on there so you know I ain't playing, right? You want to be deep on social media today? Drop that on your social media page. 
and call on me in the day of trouble. How many people you can call on when you in trouble? Yes, yes. Right. He actually says, I will deliver you and you will honor me. Bible. Not Marcus. Bible. Right. Thank you, Ines. Right. So this. Before you start making your adjustments on making yourself better and not making a mistake yesterday and doing it right this time, you know, at first you don't succeed. Try, try again. Get up. Right. Dust yourself off. Before we start doing that, right, how about this? How about this? Before we start doing that, let's stop trying to do it on our own. Yes, let's stop trying to do it on, on our own. There is a God out there that says, give them to me, right? I talked about this yesterday. I said, yo, it's easier said than done. Somebody's going to hear this and go, all I got to do is give it to God, and I'm just going to sit here. It don't work like that either, right? Right? You cannot just say, hey, God, I want this seven-figure job, and I'm just going to sit here and wait on it. You said cast my care, cast my problems. Don't work like that either, right? And then some of us are going to hear, okay, I'm going to trust you, God. I'm going to give you my problems, and then I'm going to add my two cents in on it. Or I'm going to give you my problems, and I want you to do it my way, though. I want you to fix it my way, right? Or I kind of want you to let me out of this so I can get over again on somebody, whatever, right? So it's easier. Uh, I did just, I did, I did. Did you hear the song in your head when I said it, right? Right. But before, before we start making those adjustments, let's stop trying to do it on our own, right? You got a teammate, you got a partner out there that says, I got your lightweight. I got your back, right? I put it like this. God, I wrote it, I wrote it like this this morning uh, or last night I did. God is here to solve your problems, to fight your battles. If we are alive, we're going to have problems. We agree with that. Without the problems that God orchestrates for us in our lives, and some people say, well, why would God give us some problems, right? Why would, why would he actually give us some problems, right? Think about this. And I know it ain't you. It ain't nobody on this Zoom. And it ain't you on YouTube because this ain't your life, right? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. But without the problem, you wasn't going to call on God no way. Yes, yes or no? Facts or no? right? How many times when life is going good, not you, not you, that we don't even call on, when the bank account swole, how many of us on our knees asking for finances? Yes, yes. When the, when the health is good, right, and you in shape, when the relationship, when love is flowing, how many of us asking God to strengthen the relationship? Yes, yes. Right, right. Um, when, when the kids are acting right, how many of us are praying over our kids at night and, and trying to build that relationship? Think about it. So when you think about it, sometimes God is like, yo, yo, call on me. Give me your troubles. Give me this, right? And then God's so cold, right? Um, I, wait, I'm going to say this. I wrote it like this. So he has allowed certain problems in our life, right, for the relationship uh, to go forward. And then I did, Then this is where, thank you, Isaiah, Um when we go back to Psalms 50, 15, when we go back to Psalms 50, 15, think about it. Drop that in there so people can read it again. Drop it in there. Psalms 50, 15. He says this, and call on me in a day of trouble. Because he already know when it's good, we ain't calling him. But he still love us so much, he's going to give us another day, right? It ain't guaranteed, but he's going to give us more of abundance, right? But then he says, listen, all right, cool. Cool. You're not hollering at your boy when things are good. Call on me when you're in trouble. Name a partner like that. Yo, you ain't got to call me at all. Just call me when you got problems. Matter of fact, in real life, we know people, if it ain't yourself, if people start calling you and the only thing they got is problems, you don't even want to talk to them. Yes, yes or no. Right? If I started calling you, Isaiah, Genesis, Jessica, Andrea, Clayton, when I call you, if I start calling, man, 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 guess what? Man, I need, can I borrow, right? Right, Phil? We be we want to be like, I'm out. I ain't answering that. Hey, I'm busy. Yes, yes. God is saying in Psalm 50, 15, right in our face, I'm so cool with it, right? I'm so cool with it. Call on me in the day of trouble. Then he says, I will deliver you from it. 
you're going to honor me for it, right? You're going to respect me, right? If you could call on somebody when you're in trouble and they come through, you'd be like, bruh, yes, yes or no? Facts or not, nah, right? Right? And so um, I wrote it. I wrote it like this. He wants to fight our battles. And then, and then, and then, well, I'm going to go to Mark in a second, but let me think about this. Let me, let me say it like this, because yesterday, this is, we stopped. I'm going to pivot real quick right here, and I'm going to go back to the work I didn't finish yesterday because of this moment. When we were talking about casting your cares, casting your problems, right? A lot of us are, are dealing with issues right now. Right. A lot of us are dealing with something right now. There's somebody that's ready to. What did I say? There's somebody that's ready to give up right now. Yes. Yes. There's somebody that's ready to quit the relationship. There might be some suicidal thoughts in your life. Right. Right. There's somebody that's got a bill in their life that they cannot pay and don't know how they're going to pay it. Yes. Yes or no. Right. Right. Um, Bible says, yo, cast your cares. Right. Cast your cares. Here's the problem. And I talked about the word overwhelmed yesterday. All right. Let me go back to my notes. Let me go back to my notes. Um, yesterday, we talked about being overwhelmed and I gave you the definition of being overwhelmed. If you over if you've been overwhelmed or are overwhelmed, drop a yes, yes in the thing in the, in the chat. Right. I put it like this. The enemy so called and I'm not giving credit to the devil, but the enemy wants you to be overwhelmed. God is saying, give me your problems. The enemy is saying, you overwhelmed, right? How many people say, when I call you, yo, I'm busy, yo, I'm swamped, yo, I'm this, right? I'm engulfed, I'm submerged, right? Defeated completely in sports, you overwhelm the team. In boxing, I overwhelm you, right? Right? I'm on my notes from yesterday, right? When the problems show up, and I talked about this yesterday, think about this, Andrea, Aaliyah, Adrian, Right? How many people you know, the moment or yourself, when you become overwhelmed, you become a different person, right? When you're back against the wall, you turn into the beast of the month. Like, how many of us, right? I, I use myself for an example, and I'm sure Ty going to jump on, yes. As soon as the money get funny, as soon as the money get tight, Mark starts tripping, right? I get quiet, I get sheltered, I get, right? That's what the enemy wants, y'all, real talk. Thank you, Clayton, right? The enemy wants us to be paralyzed so much so that when we're overwhelmed, we turn into a different person, right? You ain't the same wife no more. You ain't the same friend no more. You ain't the same cousin. Like, when I get overwhelmed, yo, it get real. I just need a moment to like, think about it. Some of us get overwhelmed that, and we ain't cool to be around no more, right? The enemy wants to paralyze you, right? So much so that you will not even say what's going on. You bottle it up. You become a different person. God is saying, yo, 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 give me that. Give me that, right? Right? Um, let me go back to it. Uh, I'm on my notes yesterday, right? That overwhelming feeling will keep you from saying it out loud. Yesterday, I got in the car after I left the Zoom, and I said, man, Mark, I just said cast it. And we did it on the Zoom uh, yesterday. We stopped the Zoom yesterday and said, yo, cast it. Say it out loud, right? A lot of us won't say, we'll, be, we'll talk to God in our inner. We'll talk to God in our prayer and our quiet time, and we'll keep it inside, right? Some of us got real issues. I just said, if somebody got a bill, somebody got a relationship, somebody got a cough right now, somebody got something that we just kind of keep inside instead of saying, Lord, I'm casting this out. I'm getting it out, right? And I said, and I'm going to go back to today's notes. While I'm doing that, man, if you feel comfortable, just like yesterday, cast it. You can open the mic, cast it. You can drop it in the chat, cast it, right, right? Um, and if you know, that's cool too, but yo, say it to yourself, go look at yourself in the mirror and say, man, I got a, a sin. I got a sinful, I got an addiction. God, I'm casting. Some of us uh, know that we need to change on something and won't say it out loud. Enemy will paralyze you like that, right? You can't even operate because you won't even cast that thing. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Um, all right. 
I'm gonna get to these three things, but let me let me read um Mark chapter eleven and uh twenty two through twenty five. I found this one late yet last night, right? Mark chapter eleven twenty two through twenty five. Bible's better than Netflix. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, Bible's better than Netflix. Mark chapter 11, 22 to 25. I'm not making it up. Drop it in there. It says this, verse 22. Have faith in God, Jesus answered, right? Truly, I tell you, if anyone says this mountain, go throw yourself in the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes what they say will happen. Let me pause right there. Let me keep going first. It will be done for them. All right, now let me pause. Yo, that might be Bible talk to somebody, right? There might be Bible talk. Verse 24 says, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, this is Bible. This ain't therapy. It's not therapy. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, this next part, believe that you have it and receive it and it'll be yours. Verse 24 call y'all, yeah. right? Right? And 25 says, and when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anybody, forgive them, right? So that the Father in heaven may forgive you. But that verse 24, therefore I'm telling you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have it or you have received it, right? A lot of times, tell the truth, shame the devil to tell the truth. A lot of times we can pray for something or we can stay paralyzed and overwhelmed. And then we'll start, we'll get to a desperation and then we pray for it. But we don't even believe it. We almost beg it. We almost saying, God, wave, wave the wand and save me, right? Once we cast that thing and you start praying, my pastor said it this time. Pray with some expectation, right? Pray and know it's going to happen, right? And then actually when it does happen, actually honor him and say it, right? Think about that. A lot of times we do pray and we just saying, please, God, please, please, please. And we, please let me hit this lottery. Please let me make it to work. Like pray with some when we start praying, if we say, yo, that mountain, again, that might sound like Bible talk to somebody, but your mountain could be this stack of bills that you got. Your mountain could be your addiction that's overwhelming you. Yo, start praying that this joint over and believe that joint. It is over, right? He is going to come through. All right, three things. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Three things. I'm still early. Wow. Wow, I'm early. Three things. One, and this comes from yesterday. Don't be overwhelmed by the problem, right? Don't, there is no um, problem on earth that Jesus can't fix. That's too deep for God. There's no problem that's too deep for God. That's a good point right there. Pray boldly. Thank you. Pray with expectation. Tune our war to what, turn our war to what God is directing us. Right? Don't be overwhelmed by the problem. Don't let it paralyze you. Don't let your problem turn you into. Marvin Sapp said, praise them in advance. Right? Uh, my pastor said, can you pray from the cave? Can you pray from can you pray from the ground? Right? Right? Number two, there is a solution to whatever problem that you have. Right? Know that. There is a solution to whatever problem that you have. If it's a man-made problem, if it's a relationship issue, it's a domestic situation, there's a solution for it. My good church folks always say there's a ram in the bush. <laughs> right? Right? Um, and then three, uh, you do not have to search for the solution. It already exists in Jesus. All right? So cast it. He's saying, bring me your issues. Bring me your troubles. Bring me your burdens. Bring me your, bring me your bankruptcy. Right? Bring me that bad relationship. Bring me your addiction. Bring me your pain. 
Bring me your bad grades. Right? Yes, yes. All we got to do is cast it. All right? Um, I think that's a good moment. Uh, Father God, thank you for um, allowing your word to go forward, God. Um, allow us to be bold enough today. Maybe not even on the Zoom. Uh, maybe not in public. But at least bold enough to one-on-one -on -one with you in our time to actually cast our problems and our cares and our fears. And then, God, let us start praying from this moment forward with expectation that you do exist, that you are here for us. Let our prayers not be in a begging way, but in a glorifying you that we know that you are able. Uh, God, we, we love you. We say these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Microphones open. Microphones open. Microphone. Thank you, Perry. Thank you, Inez. Shelby, you made it, girl. You made it. You made it in this mug. Um, it's a lot going on, y'all. It's a lot going on. Yesterday was was so deep. I kind of stayed surface level today. Um, I'm glad you made it too. We do it each and every day, seven thirty to eight fifteen. I'm early today, but I want to say this, y'all. Real talk. Like, we all are dealing with something. As I'm even talking on this joint, I got a mountain in front of me. When I say it, it's in, get your hiking boots, it's going down, right? Uh, but I got a piece about it. I got a piece about it because I just know that when I start counting my blessings, matter of fact, skip me. You cannot count your blessings. You can stop it if you want to, guard it. You can't count your blessings. And complain at the same time. Not going to happen. You cannot count your blessings and complain at the same time. Life is life. Girl, you better say that. Right? 